never ever depend on a man because it well like let's say they decide to leave you what are you going to do are you going to be able to value yourself and stuff like that hi my name is jen my name is christian and, and this, this is love a little podcast, podcast. Woo, woo. welcome back to those who have been here and hello welcome to those that are new let's go all right this is officially episode nueve for those what? that don't speak espanol episode nine five plus four four plus anyways episode nine anyways getting are you excited yeah. we're almost we're episode nine already yeah that's crazy i feel like we just filmed the first one but and we say that every time i know <laughs> But let us know down below any feedback. What would you guys like to see more of? What do you guys think? How can we make it better? Uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, for those that are new, this podcast is we talk everything relationship, marriage, um, intimacy, all that Gucci stuff. And yes. So what is today's topic? My beautiful wife. Okay, so today's topic is joint bank account or separate? Literally, just like that. Joint bank accounts or separate. As a married couple, stay-at-home mom, not so stay-at-home dad. <laughs> so we're going to talk everything about that because I know a lot of people always ask, Regarding the finances, how do you guys do with that? Do you guys have joint bank accounts, separate bank accounts? Do you spend her money? Does she spend your money? Who pays the bills? Who pay all that good stuff? It's good questions. To, um, I mean, good things to know. Just because I know everyone does things differently. But remember, this is how we do stuff. All right. So without further ado. Go ahead, my love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as some of you guys may or may not know, but I used to work and I started working right after high school and I worked ever since after since after I had Camila for two years. So from 18 to I had Camila, which I was 23, I stopped working at 25 and I was very independent. As soon as I graduated high school, I started going. I started working, and I was going to school both at the same time. Growing up, I, f I want to say this because I feel it has a lot to do with, like, my mentality and stuff. Mm -hmm. But growing up, you know, my mom, my dad, my brother, my oldest brother, they used to always put in my head, you need to work and do things for yourself because nobody else is going to do it for you, and you can never ever depend on a man because it well like let's say they decide to leave you what are you going to do are you going to be able to value yourself and stuff like that so I always had that in my mind growing up so as soon as I you know I started working and stuff I my parents stopped paying everything for me like I wanted to do it like I've always been very independent independent and I would say hardworking since I was little like I used to want to go work with my uncles with my brother with my mom to get, like, my own little money. And it didn't matter if I had to wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning because sometimes I would have to wake up at that time. And what kid wants to do that? But I would do it. Like, I don't know. I've always just really loved, you know, doing things like that. But anyways, to what I was saying. So growing up, you know, that was always in the back of my head. And I, and I knew that I wanted that for myself. Like, I knew that I never wanted to depend on a man. I never wanted a man to be able to tell me, like, do this, don't do that, stuff like that. And. Don't do this. Yeah. You know, just, like, I feel um, a to lot of times I've heard stories of, you know, where, you know, there's a lot of machistas and stuff like that, which um, can be really extreme in some ways. But. Okay, so anyways, let's not get too off of topic. <laughs> so that was, like, my mentality. So when I met Christian, you know, we it was, for me, I, I didn't never expected him to do everything for me. It was like, let's do things half and half, you know. It's both of our responsibilities, you know, 
and stuff like that. So half and half, you know. So he would take care of some stuff. I would take care of some other stuff. And that worked out for us. Like, I feel like we never had an issue. Like, we actually arranged that it. That was before kids. Yeah, that was, that was like, when we first had um, our first apartment. And I feel like that w- worked out for us, you know. We didn't have any issues. He would take care of, like, the bigger bills, and I would take care of, like, the smaller bills. But then the time came where, you know, we took the decision that it was best that I stood home. And at that time, when we... I was still working, and we were going half and half. We had a joint account. We had just opened the joint account, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we each had our own separate account, but we also had a joint account where that's where we would put the money in, like, for, like, our bills and stuff like that. That's what we'd use it for. And I've never been the one to, like, question him about his money, and he also has never really been like that either questioning me about like my money and stuff like that so when we decided that i had to stay home with camila that was like a big big factor for me i was like so scared and i was like but how am i gonna ask you for money like how am i gonna depend on you like you know so right i have this thing in my mind of my parents and my brother always telling me like you should never, like, depend on a man. You should never depend on a man because then they're going to try, you know. Not all of them, but, you know, they will try to use that against you. And, you know, and you might feel like you're you're not, like, self-worthy and stuff like that. My mom has always been very independent regardless of, you know. And so I was like, Man, it was so tough. So I took her. Okay, I want to do something where I can still, you know, bring a little bit of income in at least for like if I if I want to buy myself something, I don't have to feel like I have to ask him, right? So I'm like, this is just my mentality. Like <laughs> I'm just like stressing. Like how am I gonna ask him for money? You know, what if he tells me no and this and this and that? And although he has always been about like spoiling me and stuff like that, but now it's just different now because now I'm really gonna rely on him. Right? I was stressing. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I that's when I started doing nails because I was like, at least I, you know, just a little, have a little something for myself that I could, you know, like he doesn't have to tell me like, oh, you know, don't spend on that or whatever. But so whatever, it happened. I quit. I started, you know, I was making a little bit of money, but when I got pregnant with Mateo, I completely stopped doing nails so then that's kind of really when i started relying on you more for that well i won't say relying that word is kind of weird well yeah like, not relying but like i think now you were take you were providing a hundred like a hundred percent yeah yeah so of course uh so we do have a joint account you know uh, i know that people want to know yeah, so your the answer is, you know, that joint account that we used to have just for bills now, it's like our main account where Christian transferred me transfer me his money. He, transfer me. He'll keep an eye on the account and he sees, like, if I'm running low on money, he just transfers me money because he has his own separate account, like I mentioned. And he transfer me, he'll, he'll transfer me money. Like, he just keeps an eye on it. <laughs> Or he'll tell me, like... He'll just keep on transferring. Yeah, he just keeps on transferring, I mean... and Or he'll tell me, like... He tells me, like, babe, if you want to make, like, a big purchase or something, like, tell me so, and I'll put money in the bank account. And, you know, things like that. Just because, yeah, I literally check that thing every day just because, you know, there's always, like, either, like, credit card... I mean, credit card, like, debit card or bank card uh fraud fraud or things like that so literally every morning that's like the first thing i check and you know sometimes payments go through different days and things like that and sometimes the charges are not named after whatever it is you spend on is is named like after like the main like headquarters or building of where like you could spend money at target and it'll say something like shing su freaking or i don't know it'll say like the you know the the name of the the, the company company or whatever um yeah go ahead no, oh yeah <laughs> so 
Yeah, pretty much to answer your question, we did have separate accounts. Now we have a joint. He still, he has a separate account just because it's like the business, his business account and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to have um, separate money. But anyways, um, we have a joint account now. I don't feel like it was just something that happened so naturally. I was just, you know, you're you're being raised with this mentality which is 100% okay, and I agree, and I still I want to teach my daughter the exact same thing mm -hmm. because I feel it's very important to be able to, you know, not rely on anybody, to be independent because God, God willing, you know, in the future something were to happen to Christian, and then I would be like, oh, my God, what do I do? How can I provide for my kids? Like, what am I going to do? I don't know how to do nothing, you know? Keep in mind, though, F just an FYI, she still does make income because, you know, we do social media and stuff. So she does a lot of brand collaborations and it goes pretty well for her. when it goes well, it goes well. Um, but yeah, I don't want people to think like you don't do nothing. Like, oh, yeah. no, like she's a full time stay at home mom. That's already a job within itself. And she also does like these co brand collabs and things like that. And for those I know, you know. Well, yeah, like for YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that, like, you know, it, it brings us in money. But I'm saying, like, regardless of that, like, he's the breadwinner. So either way, like, um, but at the end of the day, I feel like we're a team and it's not really like me depending on you. Because I think both of us understand and it's not like she takes advantage of the situation or things like that. Like, she knows what's up. Like, she'll go to the store and she buys stuff for the house and things like that or she buys the kids stuff and things like that and it's like like it just it, it, like she feels comfortable using it not but she doesn't go above and beyond you know what i'm saying like if she needs something she'll get it and i tell her if there's something you need go ahead and get it. like go ahead and get it you know but if it is going to be like a very large purchase when i say very large i just mean like over like 200 bucks or something like just let me know i just want to know not that i'll be like no you can't do it i just like to know these things you know but yes regarding me and my bank accounts um so we have the joint bank account where like our bills and everything's paid and she could spend from there and stuff like that and i have well technically i have like two one two yeah like two other bank accounts but those are business bank accounts because i you know i separate my business stuff in the sense of like all the business income that's being there and paying, I'm I'm paying bills for the business and all the stuff for the business for, with that bank account, and then I have another one for, well, another business, um, like the merch and all that stuff, which is also like just kind of re, it's just kind of flipping itself, you know, um, but yeah, so that's the only reason I have those other bank accounts. It's not like I have my personal one where I keep stuff for myself and like, no, nah, it's all business stuff. And then we play around with that stuff and then just yeah. kind of. And then like he mentioned, you know, you know I bring in income as well. And mm -hmm. that one goes directly into our joint. And that's just because that's just how it works best for us. I I do have a set. Well, it's not set. Well, I guess it is separate. Um. I have, like, my savings account, but mm -hmm. for the majority of the part, you know, we use the same account. Um, I'm not, like, a person to be, like, what are you spending money on or, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But we're we're not big spenders. Like Yeah, that's I, the thing. I spend money, like, when I have to go to the store, grocery store, and bring things for the house. And stuff like that. But other than that, like, I'm not out, like, buying me clothes, buying me shoes, buying me things. Literally, what she'll spend her money on is, like, buying the kid. Like, she gets a joy of buying the kid stuff. She's always buying the kid stuff. And I don't mind that because it's for the kids. Like, she rather buy the kids stuff than herself, like, herself something. Yeah. And but I tell her sometimes, like, hey, like, you know, get yourself this yeah. or get yourself that. All yeah, right. he's always telling me, like, or like oh, buy yourself something. But then I'm like, I oh, do I really need to buy myself? I rather buy the kids. I love to get them things where they can like use their imagination. I love to buy them like coloring books, reading books, uh, things for them to play outside. That's what I like to like buy them. You know, I don't clothes. I don't really buy them. Like I'll buy them clothes, but if they have enough, like I'm not gonna go and buy them clothes. 
unless it's like something where they have to wear like a certain thing then i'll get it for them but majority of their clothes is like from christmas and their birthdays and stuff like that the things that i will buy them is sandals because they go through the sandals so quick oh not fyi no no you do we do get a lot of amazon packages here that i do have to say but it's a lot of stuff for like the house or for the kitchen or for yeah. like just stuff that will make her that makes her life a lot easier in the household or to decorate the house or but you know all my fellas know what's up with that but that's just like little tedious thing i mean they can add up yeah, but it is it's, like it's a bunch funny. of little stuff yeah. for the house or whatever it is, you know. It's funny because we're like, what are you order now? And I'm like, oh, it's toothpaste. And he's like, toothpaste? Oh, okay. And then he was like, what are you order now? And I'm like, oh, it's shampoo. It's because I tell him, i rather order it like on, sorry. i rather like order it on Amazon or drive up. And not have to go to the store just because I know if I walk in the store, <laughs> you know, as soon as you walk into the store, you're like, She's already oh, I need this. Like, do you really need it or not? So I rather Unless just you go to Costco. Or yeah. Something. So like on Amazon, I'll have like the subscriptions of like the toothpaste every two months or, you know, sub- subscriptions like that. And then sometimes he'll be like, what is that? And I'm like, I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> And then it's, like, my subscription of, like, the toothpaste or the dog But food. it's, like, stuff that we need, obviously, you know. Yeah, they're, like, you know, needs, not just... Wants. Yeah, <laughs> so now he knows that w- when we get Amazon, he knows that it's more than likely something that we need for, like, ourselves, the house, or whatever, mm-hmm. rather than me just, like, buying stuff that we don't even need. But mm-hmm. once in a while, I will, like, order something, like, for, my, for myself or, like... um. You know, just something, but m- majority of the time, it's it's for mm-hmm. the house or. Like but yeah, but with finances, like we're very like clear with things. Like we don't go above and beyond and do crazy stuff with it. Like, and I think it's cool because we're both like that. We're not very like big big spenders, and it's crazy. There'll be times where she'll just because a lot of my clothes, she buys it for me. She just has really good taste and. For those that would be like, how are you so swaggy and fresh all the time? She just knows my style, and she'll buy me clothes. Like, I don't even buy myself clothes. She'll yeah. buy me the clothes. So and, and shoes or whatever. I mean, sometimes I buy myself some shoes or, or some clothes, but majority of the time, like, she'll buy me clothes. You know, she's, she's like, all right, you need this? I'm going to get you this. Oh, it looks like you need that? I'm going to get you that. And it's, it's cool. You know, it's like. It's yeah, thing. so, like, for example, Christian would say, like, man, I need new socks. And he won't, like, go out and buy Oh, that is a thing that I do, though. And then he'll say it again, and then I'm like, okay. Or I hit her with the, we need to go to the store to get some socks. But we, I mean her. So I'm like, babe, we need need to get me some new shoes or, like. Yeah, and then I'm like, but 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 sometimes, but sometimes, yeah, but sometimes I'll just be like, man, I want to get a new shirt or, like, I I need a new shirt or something. And then she'll freaking boom! She'll buy me like ten shirts or something. Yeah, just like random. But I keep I, in mind, I do the same. I'll get her stuff. I too, like so. to, you know. She like to spoil I like her. To take care she likes to spoil her man. Yeah, and I know that he won't do it, so I'll just do it for him. And and as in for myself. Yeah, and oh. I know many will say like, "Oh, but you know, he's a grown man." Yeah, but he takes care of me. I take care of him, and that's just how it works. That's just how it works. And I like him looking good, you know, even though I might not be looking good all the time. Yeah, I was looking good, baby. <laughs> I always tell him, like, damn, babe. Like, who got you that shirt? You are dressing me always. Looking nah, but super so good. So if you guys see me looking kind of all right, spiffy, because my wife dressed me. Literally, like, everyone's always asking him on the lives, like, like where you where get you your shirt? Where, where you get I'm like, he, don't, he doesn't even no, know. No, sometimes I know. But I'd be like, I don't know, my wife bought it for me. That's the truth. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Sometimes I don't like to give out my game on where I get my clothes. <laughs> and, and no, I do not wear kids' clothes. Well, I wear like an extra small in men. Or I could fit in like an extra large in kids' t-shirts. So you do wear kids' I I do, but I don't. Only if I want to, depending. Because yeah. I could get an extra small in men and it'll fit me. But then I could probably fit in like a extra large and kids you know what i'm saying but my even pants are not kids these are even like his stuff. boxers and everything it's funny because i <laughs> i would i'll get rid of his clothes and he doesn't even know like 
you know, because I'm, like, washing and stuff, and I know, and I'm like, okay, this is a little way too old, like, they're ripped or something, and he'll keep wearing it, like, he doesn't care. No, not boxers, but I would not wear ripped boxers, I, no. I, babe, I threw out a bunch of your boxers, and you haven't even noticed. Yeah, but that I, that I don't use. No, no, that you use. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, that's I something that no no no. Boxes. That is something I do not do. I am not like a dirty person. I never said I'm you're not, a dirty person. Babe, a dirty person uses holes in their drawer drawers. That that's a dirty that's dirty. a dirty person. No. I mean, sorry if I offend anyone, but I don't think you should wear holes in your boxers. I wear holes. Reason I wear being is because holes. reason being oh, I made those. <laughs> reason yeah. being Cause I like to look sexy with no clothes on. Imagine having holes in my boxers. No, but when I'm getting because naked, you're not gonna have any clothes. Now, on. when I'm getting naked, I want to look sexy. And imagine looking all clean from the top, and then you look down, and then you see like raggedy ass, arrugado boxers that look like they stand on their own, sh- like they're all weird looking. Yeah, yeah those I are the ones that I threw out. No, she's lying. <laughs> Line. Anyways, I I get I clean out his closet because he'll just like I'll buy him new clothes and he just does not want to get rid of any clothes. And but like, there's stuff no. that w- I would keep in there that I don't even use. Like, and that's why yeah, she says like just because he's like, oh my god, or this something or like it's a memory. And then I'm like, are you gonna wear it? If you're gonna wear it, keep it. If you're not gonna wear it, then we need to get rid of it because it's a there's memory. no space. <laughs> you got sentimental value. No, I'm not a hoarder either. Either. So don't think I'm like a hoarder that keeps everything. He no. is not a hoarder because I don't allow him to. No, but I wouldn't be a hoarder though. <laughs> Just kidding. That's kind of yeah, but I'm not a but hoarder. But anyways, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm in charge of you know cleaning. She's in charge out. of keeping me spiffy. Yeah, cleaning mm-hmm. out the closets and everything, keeping all the. But anyways, back to financial because I we we're like <laughs> we got way carried off away. Topic. <laughs> That's funny, but it is still under finances because it's talking about spending and money. And a lot of times, that's a problem that people have. They just spend a lot on things they don't need. So it does still consider the topic back to joint bank accounts are separate, which covers financial spending and all that good stuff. Because a lot of times, people spend on a, uh, on things they don't need. And um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I, I really don't buy myself anything, and he doesn't either. But like, si se nos antoja algo, well. We'll get it eventually. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's the thing with us. Like, say we don't ever really buy ourselves stuff, but if there's something we want, like we're not gonna be like, no, we're not gonna get that. Like, we'll get it. Yeah. We'll, you know, we'll we'll splurge a little bit here and there, um, because you know we do get kind of what we want sometimes, but at the same time, like we do, we're not very like antojados, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, but if we do want something, we'll get it. Mm-hmm. And then for the kids as well, like, I'm not the one to go and buy them a toy, like, every week. No. It is so rare for me to get them a toy. Literally, almost all their toys they have, it's, like I mentioned, from Christmas and, like, their birthdays. Gifted, yeah. That they get so many. And yeah, they I, have a lot And I'm stuff. like, they do not need any more. So, <laughs> the only time I will get them something is, like, if um, I promise them something or, you know, if Camila's been asking and asking and asking and, you know, she was behaving really well, or she gets an award, then I'll I'd be like, okay, mama, you know, I could get it for you when you when you get your award or things like that. But, like, yeah, just like, to splurge, no. Like, our kids and are spoiled in the sense of, like, they earn their stuff, you know? Like, they, like, we do get them pretty much whatever they want, but it's not like we're just buying them stuff and buying them stuff. Like, it's like, Camila, I mean, you you've been doing really good in school or like that you've been doing you've been behaving very well like this is why we get you these things or we got you this because you know you this or because because i feel like if you just give 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 they're just going to be like spoiled little kids and when you don't give them something they're going to be like throwing tantrums but or acting that, on. But camila has never been the kid to be like i want this i want that so it's so rare when she actually is asking for something like often like, for example, like right now she's obsessed with Oxalata and she's been asking us like for stuff with Oxalata, right? But we haven't got her nothing. So, like, I tell I t- it's so rare for her to actually be asking for those things. So when she does, it's I, we feel like oh man, like, like we gotta get it for her, like, you know. But we also just just uh, sorry, we also just don't be like 
okay, she asked for it. I'm buy it. No, like we we wait, and then if she really wants it, like her birthday just passed. So what did I do? Instead of going out and buying everything, I'm like, well, her birthday's coming up. I added it to her birthday registry, mm -hmm. and a lot of the things that she wanted, she got as gifts. And I didn't even throw a birthday party for her. It was just a cake. Our family came it was over. And it was like a small birthday party. But remember, it's because we told her to choose. You want a birthday party or do you want to go? Because she really wants wanted to go to the San Diego Safari Zoo. We have that vlog up on our YouTube channel, actually. The Garcia family. Um, and she chose the zoo. But we're like, no, we still got to do a little cake or something for her on her actual B-Day. Because I just that's just only yeah, right. Yeah, we just like to do their... So we did do like a little... I guess it was like a little party because we invited people over. We had cake. We had a piñata. No, it wasn't a party compared to the parties we've done in the past. But it was a small little party get together. It was a it dinner. It still counts. It was a dinner, but And yes, I got fun. her like a little piñata this big. It was cool though. Because it was just cute. But yeah, she had candy bags, she had a piñatita and, yeah, and It I, was cool though. She had a blast. Yeah. And that was it, but Anyways, uh, Anyways, even something little, you spend a lot of money. Like, even if you just say, like, oh, just just a cake and a dinner, like, and... No, I think it's spending. different for a man and a woman. Uh, something little for a man is literally just that, and that's it. Something little for a woman is, like, just this, 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 and this. Because a lot would be this, 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 and this. If that made sense. I know that was a weird explanation, but a lot... This. A little bit is a lot to us. A lot is a lot. Well, that's what it was. It was just dinner and cake, and I, I just no, decorated it was, it was for something her true. to wake mm -hmm. up, like, to surprise her, you know? And I think, more than anything, yeah. it's like the, the how do I say, the love behind everything that you do, because, you know, we woke her up with the surprise of decorating, like, the whole like the kitchen area with all her axolotl, like uh, the little piñata. We decor she decorated all nice with balloons and things like that. And I feel like that went a long way for her. It was like, oh, my God, she was so surprised because she only wanted what well, she only was expecting the zoo. Mm -hmm. And then when she woke up to all this and then a cake and then later on when she got out of school, um, you know, I received her with flowers. I went to pick her up and I gave her flowers. She was all blushing like she did. Dude, she was so, not embarrassed, but she was so shy that she didn't know what to do. She's like, puppy, hold them, hold them. Come yeah. on, hold them. Like she didn't want. And um, <laughs> so like little, girl. we do a lot of little loving things for her that I feel like go a long way. Because sometimes a bunch of materialistic things, like, yeah, you could splurge on them and do this, but it could be meaningless. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we do little things that like. She'll remember forever, you know, and I want to keep yeah. that a, a, a like a, a tradition. Is that that's the correct word? Like every birthday of hers, if it lands on like on a school day, pick her up with flowers. Like I just want that to yeah, be like a was, thing. She was so happy when she got home. I was going to say, you know, Camila, she's such a good girl. Uh, not just because she's my daughter, but like she genuinely is such a kind, loving uh, it, if She's, you know her, for those that yeah, know her, for know those that know her, know how she She's is. She's a sweet and girl. I asked her, I'm like, because I took her, and after her fifth birthday, that's it. Like, no more birthday parties for her. Uh, maybe until she turns 10, we could throw her another, like, birthday party. But I I want to give her an experience. So we were supposed to take her to the zoo last year, but Mateo got, re got really sick, and we weren't able to take her. So we... So we told her, like, okay, for her next birthday, we'll take you. And so she's been looking forward to it. And then I asked her, oh, no, she told me, like, Mommy, I want a birthday party. And I told her, Mama, like, but we're going to take you to the zoo, remember? I was like, you need to choose only one. Either you want the zoo or you want your birthday party because we can't do both. And then she's like, oh, I really want both. Mm -hmm. But she didn't, like, start crying or anything. She was just like, but I really want both. She was like, okay i'll do the zoo i really want to go to the zoo and i was like okay then let's let's do the zoo then and then i was telling christian like oh my poor baby you know she she really wants to like oh and then she, oh no and then she told me she's like but on my actual birthday she's like can you buy me a cake and um can you make me guess at tacos i w and i want my cousins to sing happy birthday to me Mm -hmm. So that's all she was asking for her birthday, you know, for us to get her a little cake and to make her birria. So I told Christian, I was like, oh, my poor baby, like, 
She, like like if we weren't gonna do that already yeah you know? <laughs> which we always do like on the actual birthday we still get them a cake you know and so that's all she was asking for so that's why i took a shot like oh let, you know i'm gonna I'm get a little bit of just like a little decoration like balloons just to decorate for when she wakes up like nothing crazy i literally didn't do nothing crazy no it was nice and yeah and she was so happy like she was super super happy like she even like her little eyes got watery and everything and i was just she didn't expect it at all and i think that's the most important thing like it could be something small but like just like if you're doing it from the heart and like it goes a long way and they'll remember those little moments forever you know because you could do a big whatever and sometimes it's just you know it's more celebrated for, like, the audience than the actual person, if that makes yeah. sense. So, it was nice. It was, you know. We, we like intimate, like, intimate um, we had moments, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that was really fun. She had a really good time, literally. She was so She tired. crashed out. Like, yeah. that night, she knocked out because she was too. playing with her cousins, with her little friends, and things like that. So, yeah, I think we still haven't caught up on sleep since that day. Yesterday, too, uh, to be honest. Uh, she, <laughs> when we were on our way home from school, she never, ever takes naps. It's so rare for her to take one. And she fell asleep on the way home. And we got home and... She was tired, my She was mommy. ready for bed at, at like, eight, seven, eight. She was like, Mommy, can we go to bed already? I want, let's just lay down and watch a movie. <laughs> and she finished her homework really early yesterday. She, she got a head start at school. So I was like, okay. And we were doing science experiments before that. And, yeah, she was. You had a good time. You had a good time. But anyways, on um, back to financial, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much, I mean, nothing crazy. You know, we, his money is my money. My money is my money. <laughs> you guys heard that? Loud so take advice. For the in the back. Take notes. My money is her money. Her money is her money. Yep. <laughs> No, it's our money. Just you communicate, know. you know, communicate. It's our money, you know, and whatever we do with the money is for us, you know. I'm not doing nothing just for me, and he's not doing nothing just for him. It's mm-hmm. for our family. We're creating this. We're trying to survive this together. You know, it's really hard out here. It's hard out here. We're in California, you guys. Yeah. If you know, you know. So, you know, we're, we're just trying our best, and... You and know? I think that's the yeah, most important thing. I think you just thing. learn as you go, too. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said before, we used to be 50-50. Now, Christian, pretty much he takes care of everything. And with the money that I make, I, you know, I also, you know, try and get things that we need. Or mm-hmm. usually, like, when I get, like, a, when I get paid, I, I try and do things like projects or something big that we have to, like, pay for or or we want to do, I usually try to use that money be- for that. Mm-hmm. And then Christian just does, like, you know, the average everyday thing. And that's how we get things done, pretty much. Yep. That's how it works, you but know? But I think it, that's, yeah, I think that's that's what works for us, you know? I, obviously, other people do the 50-50 thing and, you know? But, um, yep. yeah, I think... I think, too, it's easier, too, because I'm not a big spender. I'm sure if I was, like, a big, big like spender. Like, splurger. Then it would, you would probably be more, like, strict or something. Not strict. Not I don't strict. want to sound just like probably, you're my teacher. No, I'll but just probably be like, hey, you need, a, you need to slow it down or something. Yeah, you know? or, like, more on a budget. Mm-hmm. You know, I try. And then me, I'm the same way. Like, I if I'm going to buy something, I'm going to look for, like, the cheapest, wherever I could find <laughs> it cheapest. That's just the way I am. And I've always been like, well, my dad taught me to be like that. <laughs> and, yeah, you know. So that's that for this episode, I think. Yeah. Hopefully we covered that, the joint bank account or separate situation, finances as a married couple. Um, That's kind of how we do things. And um, it works for us. So, yeah, I think that is it for episode nine. Um, remember guys, if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Comment down below if you want us to cover a specific topic in future episodes. Um, leave a thumbs up on this video. 
Turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time we post a video. And also, we do upload every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also, we are available on Spotify, Amazon Music, and a bunch of other streaming platforms where you can listen to our podcast. Yep. And I think that is it for Episode 9, Joint Bank Accounts or Separate. On Love a Little Podcast with Christian and Jen. So, yeah. Don't forget to, to love, love a little. little. Bye. Peace.